Every day we make important decisions. When we are 17 years old or 18 years old, we are faced with an extremely important decision that affects the rest of our lives. What college are we going to? As a 17 or 18 year old, what critical thinking are we using in order to make this decision that's going to affect the next four years of our lives? The critical thinking used then is, what school am I going to get into? What school doesn't take my SAT scores? Or what's the biggest party school? Or where am I going to have the most fun? Critical thinking when you're at 17 and 18 years old is very different from the critical thinking that you may have two or three years down the road. My critical thinking at 17 years old was, hmm, what school am I going to that isn't going to take my SAT scores and I can get recruited to play softball? For me, that college was Albright College. I visited, I spoke with a coach, I was head over heels in love with this school. My parents loved this school. And at the time, I thought that was the best decision. Fast forward into that my freshman year, not even four months down the line, I was miserable. I took every opportunity to go home that I could. I didn't stay on campus as much as I could and I really just, I didn't give it a fair shot and I just knew Albright wasn't the place for me and the critical thinking that I used to get there wasn't the right choice or decision. Fast forward two years later, um, I came home, I attended community college, I obtained my associate's degree, I found what I was really passionate for, which was sports and sports management, and I visited schools, and I knew what I was looking for in a school. I knew what class sizes I wanted to be in. I knew what the faculty to student ratio I wanted to be at. I knew what kind of opportunities I wanted to have in a school and what kind of opportunities could the school present me. At 17 years old, I was not even thinking about opportunities. I wasn't thinking about internships. I wasn't thinking about anything like that. I was thinking of, do you think I'll be able to be the starter on the softball team? That critical thinking that I lacked at 17, I now had as a 21 or 20 year old and I respected it a lot more. And I knew that this decision had a lot more impact. When talking about the critical thinking of the college process, there are a couple of things that can get in the way or be roadblocks in order to make that right decision. The first one is biases. Biases by meaning of what are your parents' biases? What, what are they looking for in a school or they're not looking at as a student's perspective? They're looking at as a parent's perspective and kind of having that bias to what school you want to attend or what you're going to choose or maybe it's your major that you decide at one school versus the other. They're biased because they see the potential future, but you see your happiness and your success. So that's one bias that could be really hard for a 17-year-old to make that college decisions if they have their parents presenting these biases to them on a daily basis. The second is groupthink. This is so common amongst high school seniors where are their friends going? Are they going to go to the same school as their friends? Or what if they don't know anyone? Maybe having that relief of knowing other people at another school will help them ease them into this huge decision that is going to college. But then you're faced with that group think of maybe I want to go where they're going just so that I know a couple people. But then also you're viewing these schools that people may be talking illy or bad about and kind of really adjusting the way you're looking at those schools based on those around you. Which brings me to the, my next point. Peer pressure is hard. It's everywhere, and especially in high school, it's so dominant. And I feel like in high school, there's that peer pressure to go to that D1 school or go to that number one party school and be that top guy or girl at that school. And that peer pressure of making sure that you're attending this college that everyone else knows about, when in reality, who cares? It, at 17, that means so much to someone when maybe a year down the line, 
they realized that that meant nothing. Then you also had pressure in general, the pressure of your parents and your families of where you're going to go and the fact that this critical thinking for this decision isn't easy. It's a very, very hard decision to come to and takes a lot of critical thinking. It takes a lot of self-reflection and self-thought. And at 17 years old, do you really have the maturity to self-reflect and really sit there and think about all of these things and think about how much impact this one decision has on the rest of the four years of your life? Another is not having the opportunity to really critically think. You're not having that ability or those moments to kind of sit there and think, is this what I want? Is this the best decision for myself? Um, which also goes into your intuition. What is your personal intuition? Not looking at what everyone else is. What is your gut feeling and your intuition on this school? Personally, for Albright College, I knew from my interview that I did not like this school, but in the back of my mind, I was like, I'm not giving it a fair chance. I'm not not looking at it with the right eyes, and I hadn't talked to the coach yet, and maybe that would ease my mind. I knew from my interview in my, with my admissions counselor that this school was not the right fit for me, but instead of listening to that intuition at 17 years old, I just ignored it, and I said, you know what? I'm just going to try it. Intuition is something that's so important and I feel like as you mature when you're at 17 you really don't take the time to critically think or use your intuition where as if I just took the community college route um, I believe that those two gap years would have gave me the opportunity to really sit there and critically think and use my intuition. When it comes to the college process for high school graduates, we need to make sure as adults that we are allowing themselves to really critically think and make this decision on their own, but then also influencing them with the tools in order to successfully critically think, like mind mapping or argumentative mind mapping, or giving them the opportunity to really trust their intuition and kind of take the backseat role and not have our biases or our peer pressures or pressures or have their group think affect this decision making process. Deciding what college as a 17 year old you're going to attend is never going to be easy and it's okay to make a mistake. Did I make a mistake of going to Albright? No. I don't really count that as a mistake. I count that as not fully being mature in the decision-making process and not having the tools to critically think about the impact of this decision. But two years down the road as a 20-year-old transferring to Nichols College, I knew what I wanted in this school and I was able to critically think and make that right decision and it's been my home ever since. And it's blessed me with so many opportunities. So for those high school seniors that are going through this process and critically thinking about schools, Take the time, breathe, use the critical thinking skills like mind mapping, argumentative mapping, writing out the pros and the cons, and forgetting about group think, peer pressure, biases, and really allow yourself to self-reflect and make this decision for you, by you, only you. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk.